are you enjoying the desire that's the part that matters the most because if you have an idea of what you want and it is pleasurable for you to think about it then there's not a vibrational variance between your desire which life has helped you to give birth to and your belief about it if your desire is unpleasant if if you wish you didn't want it because you've wanted it for so long and it keeps not showing up then there's a big vibrational variance between what you want and what you expect expectation is such a powerful thing a belief is just a thought you keep thinking an expectation is a thought that you've thought about so much and kept active in your vibration for so long that you just keep realizing it law of attraction just keeps showing you versions of it until you say see that's why I believe it I believe it because it's true and we say no it's true because you believe it you say no no I'm sure I'm sure that I believe it because it's true I've been a collector of information Abraham I've been living my life and I'm just not good at that or these things that I want just don't come to me and we say but the reason they don't is because you think they don't and you say yeah but I think they don't because they don't <laughs> and we say yes but they don't because you think they don't you say no no I didn't think they wouldn't until they didn't <laughs> And since they aren't coming now I think they're not coming and we say well somehow you've got to figure out how to break that cycle because the universe is not giving you what you're saying with your words the universe is giving you what you're offering vibrationally and what you're offering vibrationally in other words the universe is giving you what you mean the universe is giving you what you expect the universe is giving you what you've practiced thinking about and so we get it that it's not the easiest thing in the world in fact it might be one of the hardest things in the world to think differently than what is because you have become so very good in your observation of what is in your assessment of what is in your restating of what is in your documenting of what is in your regurgitating of what is in your seeing hearing smelling tasting touching in your physical translation of what is what is feels pretty solid to you but we want you to know it isn't solid it's changing all the time but in many cases it's just changing to more of the same because that's what you're thinking about do you get that it's not holding steady it's changing 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 to your current expectation but if your current expectation is just like the one you had yesterday and the one you had the day before and the one you had the day before then it holds steady and you say see that's why I believe it I believe it because that's how it is and we say no it is because that's what you believe Oh, I ran not that again please not that again <laughs> so we want to help you to realize that you are so much more than this physical being that you know as you this magnificent physical being that you know as you that you are an extension of source energy and that that source energy part of you exists even now all of you didn't come forward into this personality the larger part of you remains as this eternal consciousness non-physically focused pure positive energy but here you are in this body in this personality and most important in this current opinion in this belief in this expectation here you are offering a vibration that law of attraction is responding to but the most important thing to realize about that is that the reason that you feel the emotions that you feel is because that inner being part of you that source energy part of you that non-physical part of you that eternal always always eternally being part of you is having right here right now an opinion right here right now about the very same thing that you're having an opinion about right here right now in other words when you see that guy and you just hate that guy so annoying in this way and this way and this way the reason that you feel the discomfort that you would call hatred or whatever it is that you're feeling is because the source within you feels differently once we got Esther's attention about that she said to us a few times a few hundred times <laughs> Abraham you clearly need more information about this 
I'm sure if you knew what I know, you would not be sitting on your airy fairy cloud. <laughs> if you knew what I know, you would feel about this like I feel about this. And it took a while for Esther to come to understand that we don't go there. And when she does, she feels the separation is too strong a word, but she feels the vibrational variance between who she really is and who she's allowing herself to be in that moment. And that discord is really what we want to talk about because this gathering is about the art of allowing the art of allowing alignment rather than discord, the art of being tuned in, tapped in, turned on to who you really are rather than being separated is too strong a word, but you can pinch yourself off pretty good from who you really are and what you really know. So over time, I've been talking with you about who you are. You are so important to the equation of the eternal expansion that we all are. He said, I'll go into this physical experience and I'll explore and I'll see, I'll hear. I will experience the contrast, the variety. And out of it, I will come to my personal conclusions about what I personally prefer and the reason that you did that so clearly you knew that so clearly before you got here is because you understood that the whole purpose of the variety is for choosing you said I'll make choices that are important to me and you knew that in doing that you would launch rockets of desire that you would send out vibrational rockets because you weren't even considering your vocabulary in those days you knew that you were an emanator of perspective that you would emanate with clarity whatever it was that you were giving your attention to and when you know what you don't want you emanate a rocket of what you do want and we said and we will remain here non-physically focused free of all resistance of a physical nature and when you send off a rocket of something you, you prefer we will hold steady to that rocket and we will hold firm to the equation that you are establishing moment by moment and as you evolve because of this time space reality so will we and we will hold to the expansion that you carve out and you said okay <laughs> sounded really good to you because you knew that as we held to that expansion that you would be able to tell in every moment by the way you feel how close to your expanded version you are holding or how much you have deviated from it you see so your emotions let you know if you're feeling wonderful that means you've launched ro lots of rockets of desire and you are in this moment not offering a thought belief or expectation that contradicts the desire that you hold you're right up to speed with who you are and in that moving with the flow of who you really are you feel elation you feel passion you feel exhilaration you feel really good you feel love and appreciation you feel joy but if you are feeling frustration or overwhelmment, if you are feeling angst of any kind, if you are feeling anger, or if you are feeling grief, if you are feeling revenge, or, or any of those negative emotions that feel like despair or fear, then that means that your perspective in this moment is so far apart from the perspective of your source about the same thing. That's the most important thing to understand. It isn't that we are focused upon something entirely different and that's why we feel good. We're focused upon what you're focused upon and we feel good. And that is, no matter how you try to figure it out, what unconditional love really is. We maintain our alignment with that which is love regardless of the condition. Now Esther wants to say, well, Abraham, if you were in the condition where I am, you might be feeling differently. And we say, do not argue for your conditional limitations. If you will distract yourself from the condition that is causing you the separation from all that you are, from all that we are, from that which is life, from that which is love, from that which is source, if you'll just cut that out, you'll feel good. In other words, it's like the cork is bobbing up there on the surface of the water. You can hold it under the water. That's what negative emotion is. But when you let go of it, when you're distracted from whatever you're doing that's holding it down, it will bob right back to the surface where it belongs. And you are the same. 
If you're not bobbing, it's because you've got hold of things unnecessarily. You're holding the conditions of those unnecessary things in your thought patterns. And in doing so, you're practicing them because, you know, you think a thought for 17 seconds and another thought like it joins it. It doesn't take very much attention to something to get enough momentum going that you can cause what feels like true separation from your life, from your joy, from your clarity, from your abundance, from your well-being, from who you really are. So cut it out.